Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Collector Space with Jade and today I have Jewel Richie from Rainbow High Series 4. Now I originally passed on Jewel because my target got in a bunch of botched ones but today when I was looking at the dolls because again I'm still looking for the twins have not found them no luck I keep finding their price tag. I can't find the twins. But I found a jewel who's not, like, struggling in the makeup department. And who also has very good placement on her skin. So, you know what? I had I had to cop. Now, yes, it looks like she's got a little bit of running glitter under her eyes. But I think that actually made her look a lot cuter to me than other... Me uh, not Mina's. That's the other doll I picked up today. Other jewels that were on the shelf. Um, they finally had Mina, and I found the perfect one. You'll see her later this week, or next week, depending on when this goes up. Um, you, will, you will see my Mina review soon. But Jewel was one of the Series 4 dolls that I was most excited for. Like, she has been my number one from the start. So, without further ado, let's get her unboxed! Alrighty, now here we are out of the box. Now, Jewel has quite a few bracelets. I honestly did not notice them when pictures of her first came out. Um, these are really cute. They are super detailed. They have, like, all these little pearls and, and like, diamondy things on them. Uh, they're all gold with emerald set stones. Her earrings are similar to Chanel Onyx's, but they're not the exact same. In fact, hers are hollow in the back with the gold underneath, whereas, um, Chanel's on it, uh, Chanel, I can't speak. Chanel Onyx's earrings are a solid translucent piece. Jewel Richie's are, um, a concave set stone in the back. So that is a big difference between the two. I know the cut looks similar, but they are not the same piece. This is a new earring mold. Do not let Twitter or TikTok say otherwise, because that is not the case. Um, as far as makeup goes, Jewel has like a very nice glittery emerald eyeshadow with a little bit of glitter on her lower line. Do watch out for the glitter on her waterline because I've seen some Jewel Richies where the glitter is so out of place that it looks like she is sobbing, which, I mean, I would be sobbing too if I was voiced by a Trumpy in the animated show, but, <laughs> um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, now, also keep an eye on her hairline. Now, my jewel has a very good hairline. This is probably the best hairline I have seen on a Jewel Richie of, like, the 15 that I've come across shopping for Series 4 and the Twins. She has the patches of skin on her knees, which have blush on them, which is super cute. She has the standard articulation for current Rainbow High dolls. And her outfit, which we can now talk about, is probably one of my favorite outfits from Series 4. So first up are these shoes. They are held on with a ribbon. Um, it's been a while since we've seen the ribbon heel. You know, Lily Chang was like the last Rainbow High doll to have the ribbon heels. So it's nice to see them back. I personally love the ribbon heels. Um, it's a really cute aesthetic. I love that they're back for Series 4 with Lila and now Jewel and Mina technically as well has them. I think they're just really cute. These shoes are pretty simple, but that also means they're pretty versatile and can pair with a lot of different pieces, so I do prefer the more simple heels for her. Jewel also has this super cute necklace on. It's been a while since we've seen a ribbon-tied necklace for Rainbow High. I think the last one was indeed with the Devious Twins. Um, so we have not seen a ribbon tie necklace in quite some time, and it's nice to see them again because they always have, like, super cute... This this is my favorite Rainbow High necklace. I'm sorry, Robin, you've been usurped. Um, I say because my display shelf is to the left of me right now, and Robin is currently watching this review being filmed. <laughs> now, for her dress, 
Um, she has these little cutouts, which um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that is mesh. It is skin colored mesh, so it's not just like a straight up hole. Um, and her first stole is kind of like Heather Grayson's jacket, but also not because it has these like permanent clear straps. And these are like not rubber bands. They are a little stretchy, but they're a little bit like more... Um, vinyl almost oh my god her hair is getting caught on my my little backdrop um Jules hair super crunchy I'm gonna have to wash it out but it is styled in this super cute little wrapped top ponytail like old Hollywood glamour moment um I I just I love her so much and her lip color is gorgeous uh, some Jewel Richies I've seen have, like, a little heart-shaped thing of metallic paint um, in the center of her lips. This one does not have that, but she was also the only Jewel Richie at the store who did not have a completely botched face. So, you know what? I'm fine sacrificing the cute little heart detail in the lipstick if she has everything else according to plan. Um, this is a really cute skirt. Skirt? It's a dress! The heck are you talking about, Jade? Um, it velcros in the back like every other rainbow high piece that isn't a jacket that goes over the shoulders does. And I think this is probably the best use of sequins that has ever happened on a rainbow high doll. Uh, I used to think the best use of sequins was like the jacket that came with the Avery fashion closet. Uh, no, that's been usurped um, because something that takes actual fashion taste has come along. And this is such a cute dress. I, I love this dress. She will be living in this dress, but I will show you her second outfit real quick. So let me just pop her off camera and boop. Hi, uglies. Alrighty. So now Jewel is in her second outfit. She got glitter on her because Lila's skirt is still leaking glitter all over my set. I keep finding it. That skirt is a nightmare. Anyway, here is Jewel's second outfit. It's this sort of like gator skin. Um, it's not real alligator skin, obviously. It's an 11 inch fashion doll. The scales would not be that small. But it's this like nice emerald fake gator skin skirt and bodice two piece with this pleather jacket and a very nice fur accent. Um, I love the silhouette that this gives off. However, this is a very big however, this outfit is prettier in box than it is on her. Now this is just a personal preference, but it's just not doing it for me. You know, she went from Hollywood glamour to why are you cosplaying pretty little liars? You are better than this. <laughs> Uh, like, don't get me wrong. These are still cute outfit pieces. Just together, it's not my cup of tea. Um, it's, I should have kept it in box. I should have pulled an Elvira and just kept it in box for display purposes. But I like to try on all of my outfit pieces on my dolls before I make final judgments. And now final judgments have been made and she will not be living in this. Now, these shoes, on the other hand, are really cute. Again, I know they're simple, but Jewel is a doll full of statement pieces. So it's okay that she doesn't have like these big, elegant, oh my God, is that a Versace reference shoe? Watch these be a reference to Versace. I, I don't know. I don't know what these are a reference to, but like bottom line, the shoes don't have to be like designer level in terms of appearance. Like a simple heel like this is cute, it works for her, and it's wonderful, and I love it dearly. Now, what really would have made Jewel for me is if one of her pairs of shoes had like flocking to match the fur accents on her outfit, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, and they are still really cute shoes, plus I know I would probably be complaining about the flocking because it sets off my sensory issues anyways. Anyway, um, now that she's in her second outfit, 
I do want to talk a little bit about, like, her other things that she comes with. It's not a lot. Series 4 downsize in the accessory department. She still has her stand, which is this really pretty emerald green. And this comb that matches it as well. This comb is really glittery, which is nice. Sometimes the Rainbow High combs don't have as much glitter in them. It's a batching thing. Um, it's not like a variant thing. I've seen people on Twitter be like, oh my god, did I find a variant stand or a variant comb? No, it's just there wasn't a lot of glitter in that particular batch, probably. Because that happened with my Series 2 Amaya, because I have two of them. Because my nieces broke my first one, and then I got a replacement. But, yeah. That's about everything that Jewel comes with. They nixed the clothing hangers for Series 4, as well as Shadow High. So, I think final detail that I forgot to go over is that her nails are painted emerald green, really nice, really cute. Jewel, overall, best green doll. I'm sorry, Daphne. I'm so sorry, but it's she's the prettier green. She is the prettier green. And I know some people are going to be like, what about Karma? Karma is pretty too, don't get me wrong. Um, and I know nobody's going to say, what about River? River is nobody's favorite doll. Actually, that's a lie. I, I know one person, knew one person, whose favorite doll was River, and they were adamant about, like, other people, like, it, it, it's a whole ordeal. I'll go, I've, I've gone into it on Twitter. It was an interesting experience. But, yeah. Bottom line, she is the prettiest green doll to come out, by far. Love her dearly. Love her eyes. This is a new shade of green for Rainbow High. It's got, like, a hint of brown in it, which doesn't show up super well on camera, um, because of the glare, it just looks black, but it's a really pretty, like, sort of almond coffee little brown that transitions to this nice, gorgeous shade of green that her eyes are. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this review on Jewel Richie from Rainbow High Series 4. I am so excited to have her in my collection, honestly. She is stunning. I love her. Also, before I forget, I know that there is one question that those of you in the restyle community have for me. This is what Jules' rooting looks like. Uh, she is missing a little bit of paint over one plug, but that's mine. That's probably not going to happen to you. She's pretty densely rooted. She's just not thatched. Um, she doesn't have a part line, and that's okay, because um, her hair is an updo. Um, but you can always make your own part line. There are plenty of tutorials on how to do it on the internet. Anyway, this has been Jade with Jewel Richie, signing off!